Hey and welcome to Never Winter with Aragon. So unfortunately, food, at least event food, is getting a nerf and one of them's actually getting a buff, supposedly. So with this patch today, which shall be in just a few hours, unfortunately, you won't have a lot of time to do so. You'll need to go and make sure you open your piñatas now before the patch. Now with this patch, we're going to see a change to the event food. And they're going to be balanced out to give 5% buffs. So if we look at this squash soup, for example, you can see it will increase your crit chance by 3% and crit severity by 5%. This is supposedly going to be standardized at 5%. Now you may ask, what about the other event food? Well, first I'm going to pop a few piñatas and we'll see what type of event food we do obtain from them. Now the best place is, of course, in your own personal workshop so people can't go and snipe whatever you drop. First of all, I'd like to give a massive thank you to the support of my channel members for helping to keep my channel going. So in your workshop, those of you who have been opening your piñatas before, you know you need to split them up basically as much as you can. And once you do so, when you go and right click to use one, then that cooldown's gone and you can just keep summoning them like so, more and more and more. However, I recommend killing them before you do so. Otherwise, they won't drop any rewards. And why do they take so long to kill? I guess I'm just on a very budget character. So make sure that you go and you actually kill them before you spawn the next one. Otherwise, as you saw there, you get no rewards for popping them open. So these drop all different types of food there, as you can see. And we get a variety of fireworks and also caprice and watermelon, along with this squash soup and these are the main foods that are going to be impacted by this change you can currently see that caprice is giving 10 percent more deflect and 5 percent more max hp watermelon sorbet is giving 10 percent more power and 10 percent more accuracy now what's going to happen after this change is any food that you obtain after the change will only give 5 percent so Caprice would only give you 5% deflect, and Watermelon would give you only 5% power and accuracy. And supposedly Squash Soup will be buffed up to 5% crit chance. So what you want to be doing is, yes, indeed popping these piñatas before that change goes live. Because once it's live, any of the food which you obtain will be in the nerfed state. And you are assumably going to be able to sell all of this food in the buffed state, but I'm not sure when you buy it off the auction house because you're kind of obtaining it new on that character, is it going to be in the nerfed state? But you take it or leave it. I recommend opening any remaining piñatas you have from last year to make sure you get the most out of that food and potentially you can make quite a big profit by selling the buffed food because it will no longer be able to be obtained within the game anymore. That watermelon sorbet giving 10% power and accuracy is pretty huge. You can see with just popping a few piñatas there, we've got a decent amount of the food. So this year's summer event, last year they already nerfed it quite a bit by making it so that you can't endlessly farm piñatas that easily. And this year they've already gone and nerfed the food. But it is what it is. It affects everybody, so yeah, whatever. People are going to have to adjust their builds now a bit more to be able to incorporate that reduced amount of percentage from those event foods. So just a little heads up as to what's going to happen with the food and any of you who have pinatas from last year, make sure to go and open them now. If I presented as well, consider leaving the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I will see you guys around. Goodbye for now.